Hello everyone, today we're going to be creating an eLearn account or resetting the eLearn password. The procedure is the same for both. So you'll need three things. First, you're going to open up your Google Chrome web browser and you're going to go to the eLearn homepage. So that's eLearn.usc.edu.tt and you'll have that homepage open. The next thing that you'll want to have open in, an, in another tab is your USC Gmail account. So if you, when you open your USC Gmail, you'll know that's your USC Gmail because you're gonna see University of Southern Caribbean in the top right corner. And if you click on it, you will see that the email will end with at stu.usc.edu.tt. Now, if you open it up and you're only seeing your personal Gmail account, then you could add your USC email account by clicking add another account. And the third and final thing that you would want to have is just a Word document that's open that has your student ID and your USC email address because you're going to be using that a lot. You have to enter it. So you might as well have it in a document where you can simply copy and paste. That will make life a lot easier. So the first thing we do is that we go to the eLearn login page and once again, it's elearn.usc.edu.tt and you're using the Google Chrome web browser. Definitely don't use Safari or Internet Explorer. They don't work well with eLearn. So right under the green button, there's this forgot username or password. That's the one that you're going to be clicking on to reset your eLearn password or to create an eLearn password. The blue button which is a button that some people clicked on. This option here is to reset your USC email password. But today we are looking at eLearn. So you're going to go to this line that says forgot username or password and you're going to click on that. It's going to carry you to a new tab and it's going to ask you for your USC email address. So that's what I said. Have it ready in a Word document so you can just copy and paste it in there and then you click send once you get this confirmation check your email for further instructions that means that it worked so now you go to your email so i go to my usc email inbox i click that tab and there you see you have an email from usc sso now this number seven means that i actually tried this seven times so you have to make sure that when you click on it, you choose the one, the most recent one, because the other links won't work. So you're looking for the most recent one. So if you see, I'm looking at it, it's zero minutes ago. So this has to be the most recent one. So my username is my student ID, and I click on the link here to reset my password. So now it's asking me to enter my USC eLearn password. Now let's follow the instructions. The password must contain at least eight characters. It must have at least one capital letter, one common letter, a number, and a symbol. And that symbol could be a exclamation mark, an at sign, a dollar sign, something like that. And always remember, the password should not contain your name or your student ID in it, or else it will be rejected. So I'm going to um, type in a password here and then I'm going to confirm the password in this box by retyping what I just typed. So I'm just going to type it back in again. All right, and then I'm going to click save. Now, once you get this confirmation, new password saved, that means you are in. Eh? It means that it has saved that new password that you just created for Elon. So now in the username, you have to put your student ID. So that's why I said it's good to just have it in a Word document. So you can just copy it in a Word document and then you can paste it in. And then the password is what you just created. So I'm just going to type in mine. And then you click login. Now, if this part doesn't work, for some people are getting an error message in this part. Remember, the password is created. So if when you click login, it doesn't work, this step doesn't work, you could always go in and log in here. So go into the, so if, if for instance, when you click login here, you get an error message, go to the eLearn homepage 
and click student teacher login and login there and it will work but i'll just click login and most people will go to this page then you click e-learn and then it directs you to here so again your username you're going to copy your student id in there and you're going to put in the password you just created and then if all goes well when we click login all right we've seen these circles that's good news for us so i'm now logged in into my e-learn course into e-learn itself where i have all my courses now in the future if you need to to log in again so let me just log out of here so you go to the e-learn homepage, which is elearn.usc.edu.tt you click on the green button student teacher login and then you put your username which will always be your student id and then you put in your password and you click login now if you get, I'm not getting a message right now, but if you get the prompt to, to save or update the password, you should, because that's the correct password now. Now always remember, if you have multiple devices, you will also have to, when you're logging into those other devices for the first time, you will have to enter this new password in there to get in. So I'm hoping that this works for most of you all. If any of you all are still having any challenges, well, please email us at elearninghelp101 at gmail.com and somebody will reach out to you and we'll probably have a Zoom call where we'll, we'll sort it out. Okay, guys. So take care. Bye-bye.